Sometimes when you're dating someone, you get really confused about what you're feeling. Like, is this friendship? Is it platonic? Or am I feeling romantic? As a psychotherapist, there's four characteristics I see that I think are really different between platonic love or friendship and romantic love. And so I'm going to talk to you about those today right now. The first is honesty. When it's a platonic or a friendship love, you're usually more honest. You're more honest because you don't worry about it. Like, they're a friend. You don't feel like you have to censor or say the right thing. Romantic love, it's a little different. You could lose the other person. And so you do censor. And when you censor, sometimes you're not always telling the complete truth. The second thing is platonic love has different expectations. When you like somebody platonically or friendship, your expectations for them are a little bit lower. Like if they disappoint you, oh well, they disappoint you. I mean, it's sad that they're a good friend, but it's nothing like romantic love. When it's a romantic love, what ends up happening is when someone disappoints an expectation you have, it kind of startles you, kind of takes you off your game. You start rethinking things, you're hurt. You're very hurt and you many times feel like they may not be able to listen or understand you. It takes a whole different toll on the way you feel about yourself and the way you feel about them. Thirdly, platonic love and romantic love have different boundaries. If it's a platonic love or a friendship, you don't worry about going out of town. Like, you don't get all freaked out about it. Of course, if you share a room, big deal. If you don't share a room, big deal. Doesn't matter. The whole idea is just enjoy the trip. When it's romantic love, it's a little bit different. It does matter. You have to talk ahead of time if you plan to change, share rooms. And then you have to be ready for the consequence of what that will mean. If you share a room, is, are, is your relationship now exclusive? Are you dating differently? Is it going to change the way your partner feels about you? All of these things are very important. And it's important that you understand that it's not just a friend if it's somebody you feel romantic about. And lastly, romantic love feels more selfish than friendship or platonic love. When it's a friendship, there's a give or take. You know, you just like, okay, you did that last time, I'll do it this time, so you don't get taken advantage of. When you're romantically feeling about the person that this might be someone, you're very careful about that. You want to please them. You don't ever want them to think you're exploiting or taking advantage of them. And also, it's different in the sense when when you're romantically involved with the person, you do things that you normally wouldn't do. So it only makes sense that there's times you're gonna feel more selfish because you sacrificed more and that meant something to you and what your partner is doing has a higher level of what it means than if your friend did it. I hope this explains because a lot of young people that are dating and they really you know, weren't in tune with their parents' relationship, maybe their parents didn't have a good relationship, they get very confused and they set in this friend stage for a long time, even when they're feeling something deeper. And many times they're disappointed in love, not because of what happened, but because they were unable to be sure of what they felt and then talk to their, talk to their partner about it. When you tell your partner, listen, what I'm feeling for you is not platonic. It's more than a friendship. Now you're on the road to romance. I hope this helps you.